YouTube. Right, I'm going to do a uh, test today on a 12 volt fridge. This is a, ver uh, a 35 litre 12 volt DC fridge from um, Alpacorn, Vivo, Massimo, LG. Um, it's virtually just a rebranded generic um, fridge freezer. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, there's loads of them. Um, but for the purpose of the test today, I've had it for um, I've had it for a few weeks now and it's been super reliable, very good. You can use it as a fridge freezer, but um, I'm not gonna go too much into the specs of the fridge freezer today. It can go down to minus 20 um, from plus 20 degrees centigrade in about six minutes. If you put if you put some ice blocks in there, obviously it'll it'll go down to freezing a lot quicker. Um, it's a good size. We've used it um, camping a few times. Um, you know, it's uh, it, yeah, it's a, it's a good little fridge. But if you want to know a bit more information, I can always give you a grand tour of the fridge at um, another time. So what we're going to do for the purpose of this test today is we're going to run it off the Bowdoin's or the super um, portable solar power pack um, for 24 hours. Hopefully we get 24 hours out of it. We're gonna run it at minus, we're gonna run the fridge freezer at minus six. It goes right down to minus 20, but that draws too much watts. We'll run it in eco mode rather than max, because again, max um, takes about 40 to 42 watts. In eco mode, um, it, it takes about 30 watts. When the compressor's not on, it's only taking maybe one or two just to power the LCD display up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the unit on. Oh, that's the AC. Let's switch the DC on. So, cigarette light is on. Units on 100%, which hopefully you can see. Um, let me just move that back a little bit so it doesn't fall off. So, the bonus is on um, 100%, and the fridge is on eco mode. I don't know whether you can see that. Oh, it's run the wrong way, but. Um, it's on uh, 20 degrees centigrade, showing 12.9 volts coming from the batteries on the Bowdoin's unit, uh, and that's in eco mode. Um, it's also on low, which is, um, all that's to do with is, um, it's actually to do with if you're using batteries or the mains, it's to do with um, Allowing the unit to continue to um, work if the battery voltage drops too much. Um, so this has pretty much got a, even though the cigarette lighter on it um, isn't uh, regulated, um, which you can see there, it's not regulated, but because this is a, a lithium phosphate, a lithium phosphate battery on this. The voltage doesn't ever really um, change unless it's on the last two percent of um, the last two percent, and then the voltage does drop a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it do its thing. It's going to take a good six to seven minutes. Um, it's eighteen forty-three at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll switch the camera off and leave it for a bit until it gets down to its operating temperature, which I'm going to set at minus seven. So let me just show you that. The controls are pretty straightforward. Just up and down. Yeah. You can see that. Up and down. Minus nine. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do it on minus seven. Um, which 
should be good enough to freeze most most things um, and then uh, yeah we'll see how long it takes to get down to minus 7 from 20 degrees centigrade it's probably even hotter than that in the van so uh, it takes a good six or seven minutes so we'll come back to it in a minute Right, as we're uh, doing a few tests in the van today, I wanted to talk about this unit from um, Super. It is um, 384 watt hour portable solar charger, um, lithium phosphate, so good for 2000 cycles or, or 10 years, I think they say. Um, and at the moment, I'm running my um, generic 12 volt fridge freezer if you actually look at it it's very similar to an Alpacool C30 or C35 available on um, Amazon or eBay uh, they're also made by Massimo and LG they are very similar um, in design I've just put a couple of um, crates inside I don't know if you can see that right, see if we can angle that a bit better see the crates I've put inside just so it's a little bit easier to get stuff in and out. Um, so the challenge from this one was to see if my um, super unit, my little power pack, could power this for um, 24 hours straight as a freezer. Um, I'm running it on eco mode, if you can see that. Um, which is showing 12.2 volts coming from the portable power pack on minus 5 um, now I know from experience I have tried to run this unit on um, maximum setting it draws too much watts I think it's 42 watts where if you run it on eco mode um, it only draws maybe 30 watts um, you can hear the compressor kicking in now to try and keep it cool it's quite warm in the van um, and We've got 18% power left um, running from the cigarette lighter on this super unit which is at the back. Very impressed actually with the build quality of this unit in comparison with the all powers unit that I've got. Um, yeah, much um, much better build quality. It was a little bit more expensive, about £70, um, so this was 299 where the all powers unit was 249 I think I got it last year but um, yeah I'd recommend this freezer to anyone go on eBay, Amazon um, they're all different generic brands Massimo, LG, Alpacool um, much much cheaper than a, a Dometic it's got a handy little handle at the back it's got nice little wheels it's reasonably quiet the compressor's not too too um, noisy but yeah top notch uh, fridge freezer for Dometic um, performance but not Dometic money so all in all very impressed so we've got two hours left and we got 18% um, and then this freezer would have been running continuously um, off of this unit for a full 24 hours so I don't think it's going to struggle I'm just looking at my watch now yeah, quarter past seven will be a full 24 hours and it's got 18% power left. So I don't think it's going to struggle with that. All in all, huge thumbs up. Um, if anyone's got any questions about this portable power pack or um, the fridge freezer, leave a message below and um, I will try to answer them. The next test I'm going to be doing is exactly the same test. Um, trying to run the fridge freezer off of a all powers unit which um, I've got down here ready to go if you just bear with me a moment I'll get it out so this will be the unit that I'm testing next which is a all powers portable power pack um, which is on a hundred percent ready to go um, much much smaller if you compare the two if we put that there you can kind of see see the difference in size they are much much smaller um, if we put it alongside there maybe it's a better view so yeah we'll have to wait and see how that performs but all in all 
very impressed with the fridge as soon as that compressor kicks in it's gone straight down to minus 7 even though I had it set at minus 5 um, my only negative with regards to this fridge freezer is the insulation around the outside um, or on the inside could could be better because once you open the fridge or the fridge is actually switched off it does lose a lot of its cold quite quickly you can improve that by sticking in a couple of ice packs and it kind of helps the fridge out so yeah any questions feel free to leave a comment